The refugees and their sponsors took part in a church service followed by a shared meal. Some others are moving on today to new homes in BC and Alberta. The flight that brought the group here was the first in a Canadian government airlift that will go on through the end of the month and beyond. Those new permanent residents may want to speak to Najib Al Masri for some insight into what their first days will be like because he is going through them himself. Najib arrived in Canada less than two weeks ago. He's 19 years old and he joins me now from Ontario's largest mosque in Maple, just north of Toronto, Najib. So it's been almost two weeks since you first came to Canada. What has life been like for you? Uh, hi, how are you? Uh, well, it was uh, so great. It, uh, it, is, it is Canada, it's uh, a great country. And we, I, I, th I see that we have a great future here because uh, the Canadians are so good, so so emotional, and uh, I think it has been eight days, but I feel already like I am in home. So that's good. It's a great feeling. Now, when you first came here, what did you bring with you? <laughs> well, I bring my clothes, nothing else. Wow! And so you say that it already feels like home. Tell me about that. Why does it feel like home so fast? Yeah, because uh, we are here sponsored by uh, Ahmadiyya Muslim community, which is uh, a very good community. We are feeling like we are in home. Everybody is good. Everybody is, is treating us like our brothers. So that's a great feeling to feel that you have a brothers around you that they even didn't see you once in their life. So. That's a great thing to feel. They are just, they saw you for the first time and you are their brother. So that's a great, great thing. Was there anything that, uh, Najib, that surprised you about Canada before you came here? Did you have ideas of what it would be like? And have you been surprised in the two weeks that you've been here by anything? Actually, yeah, I, would, uh, I was a little bit surprised because uh, yeah, I mean, it's a big country, it's, uh, there's big opportunities, there's big things to do in the future. So I think it's, we will have a great future in this country. But uh, I think we, we are here, we have the safe, we are safe now. So whatever is going there, I, I, I hope that everybody can, can support these. There are thousands of Syrians there. They, ha they are homeless. I hope that everyone can do something. Please do it. Don't hesitate. Don't do anything else. So, so tell me, thank you. And so tell me, uh, Najib, about the challenges because obviously I understand you're trying to figure out whether your high school diploma from Syria is going to be recognized here. Tell me about some of those adjustments that you're making in your life moving forward. Uh, yes, well, actually, I am intending on going to university. I, I have something in my mind I have to accomplish. I want to be an engineer. So there's a lot of things I can do in the future. So, But uh, I'm still new here, so I didn't know how the process goes here. But uh, I think we will, I will manage that. There is a great future for us here. Do you, do you miss your home in Syria? <laughs> yeah, sure, I miss it. Everyone loves his origin, where his own country, but uh, the way it, go, it goes on like this, uh, I hope that God, God save our country, but in the end we are here. This is our new country, this is our new land, so we are going to to treat the people are they uh, like the, just they are our brother and sister. So I think we are like in our home. 
I don't know whether you saw the images. I know that you arrived a couple of weeks ago, so you didn't come on one of these government-sponsored airlifts that first arrived last night and at Toronto's airport. There was the Prime Minister, there was the Premier, yes. there was the Mayor of the city. What did you think of that kind of welcome from, from Canadian leaders to this group of Syrians that is coming to Canada? Yeah, that's, that is something great. I mean, I thank them all for all their support, for all their, their passion there. And uh, I want to thank the Prime Minister especially because I just love him so much. So uh, I, thank, uh, I thank them all. So you're, you're, you're new, but there are even newer people coming. Yes. Do you have advice for Syrians that yes. are getting off those planes and that will get off planes just about every day for the next few months? Sorry, uh, I didn't hear you. Do you have any advice? Do you have any, uh, anything that you yes, can... Yes, yes, yeah. I have. Yes, uh, the first thing they, that they should do, they should... Uh, they should learn English first so they can communicate with everybody else and they just uh, do not stay alone you should not stay in your house and mm -hmm. keep everything locked you should go out see the people have talk with them learn English and you will uh, everything will be fine for you mm -hmm. I, assu I assure you that Najib, I have one little tiny piece of bad news to tell you, and that is this warm weather that you're, you've been experiencing, this is not normal. It's warmer yeah. than usual, so you just have to get ready. <laughs> get ready for some cold weather. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you for your advice. N Najib, it was good talking to you and welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.